Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl Shakara Dange, and I am back with a message. So, it is July 5th, 2022, and I'm out in the park again. As you can see, just I wanted to come out first of all to get out of the house and to get under the sun and all of that good stuff so i gathered all of my crystals and they are right over here um charging and the sun was out when i came here i had a client and i just um did that session out here as well and it was a good session and the sun you know just about to start going down and it says it's about to storm too so i just want to get this message out or whatever come out i really um don't have a a, a download really to share but it's just it was urgent for me to get a message out um basically so we just gonna see what come out um but yeah make sure that your vibes are high and you affirm it of your life that you are operating in high frequencies only that's very important as well get your feet in some grass and get yourself out in the sun in the nature and allow nature to talk to you allow spirit to talk to you whatever it is that you are being urged to do during this time do it um your appetite might be changing you might not want to eat too heavy or eat from um other people like restaurants and stuff like that so just be mindful of what you're putting into your body during this time high vibes high frequencies don't be and i already hear the thundering coming forth so we shall see spirit what is it that the collective needs to hear during this moment during this time come through with a clear and concise message thank you for your messages Allow flow to come through. So, patience, my child. Power, my child. And authority. So, I think that, yeah, just two is all I need. All right. <laughs> August 14th. So, Leo season might be a significant time. And I've been hearing this. I've been seeing this Leo lion um, Leo season a Leo um, and when you think about Leo and what they um, attributes are is surrounding the ego so you might be going through an ego death that and I just seen lightning go wow that's beautiful oh I just love how the signs just be boom right there just because I asked. Thank you. Um, but a Leo, you might be a Leo or a Leo might be coming into your life and you have to think like, okay, they are able to be engulfed in their self. So it's definitely a good time to be engulfed in yourself and love on yourself and be for self without it being so ego driven. You know, ego wants to keep you in a box, but walking and, and 
and thriving out of love. Love wants you to go and explore and do things of your highest and greatest good. And it's going to allow for you to see it. But the ego, you only going to see the four walls that you put yourself in. Like, you put yourself in this box because um, ultimately you have the power. So with this car coming out, it's definitely a lot going on during this time and up until through leo season and beyond like we only got six more months of this year already and it's like where did the time go it's passing us by and so you have the power to change your life you have the power to create infinite abundance you have the power to pay attention to what it is that you've given your power to as well eight is about infinite abundance coming in and i'm in flow and everything like that but i also do not want to get caught out in this thunderstorm and all of that so i'm allowing the messages to come through and be very clear to me so power you have the power to the to be the king of the jungle in your life but it takes patience to get to this point of being you have to want this for yourself you have to grow yourself to this point um i can't think of what this is this a stargazer lily so this flower you are the flower you have to remember that you are the flower feminine energy that you are able to bloom and allow bloom to take over your life that you are where you need to be doing what it is you need to be doing it's no rush it's no rush allow it to flow Allow it to be what God intends for it to be. And don't waver on this. One to a four is five. So change. Change is... <laughs> I just love how this guy is already lighting up and it's already lit. Like, I mean, it's light outside still. But I see the lightning bolts coming through. And so, yeah, I need the get this message out and pack up and going on about my business but yeah you have to be patient with this this process of growing yourself because you are the seed and your ancestors your people have you in the palm of their hands god has you in the palm of her hands his hands whatever you resonate with um and so it's gonna be a process that the energy being poured into this seed you gotta allow it to come in and flow out you gotta be open to it heart chakra energy is about being open be open to change. I'm hearing you not too old. <laughs> Age does not matter. What's for you? I'm going to spin the block for you and you not too old for whatever it is that you want and you feel like it's just been missed. The opportunity has not been missed. You got to know it. The opportunity is still for you if you are open to it. Feel that. Let that marinate in, inside of you and know it for yourself. Look up the angel number 814. Look up the number 14. Look up 414. Angel number 4 in 34. So it's someone in their 30s to 40s that feel like something is just 
uh, running out of time. But you got to know you got the power. And you got to have patience for it to come in how it's supposed to come in. That's for somebody. I feel like um, it could be that you want a family and it hasn't happened yet. Cause I'm, I'm, I was here and nobody else was out here, and then a family came, and they have a newborn, and they have a little child, and you gotta know. And then also, fertility is right after authority. So yeah, 34, 43 something along those lines with the age and I got that yesterday um that it just kept on coming out 43 or 34 wherever you flip it or a 10 year age gap or something like that um but yeah you you have a lot of authority you are in a management position or authoritative position or you are authoritative type of parents and you gotta know that it's a fertile time for you whether that be physically because you want a family or just um what's the word Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Oh, my eyebrow. Um, I really can't think of the word. Whether it's real or not real. Um, fertile grounds. It's, it's how you take it. How you resonate with it. That you are in a fertile time in your life. And you hold the key to this. Whether you are gonna be open, cause he's closed off. So you have to open up to this like she is. She's open. Her body language is saying, I'm open and available for this to come in, to grow. Something is growing or wanting to grow in your life and you have to have the power to know that you are open for it open your lines of communication for it um and then this is also about um the other realms of people protecting you your spirit guides your angels are protecting you they're all around you and this is how they are with you they are very protective of you so you have nothing to worry about like i said when things are for you they gonna spin a block so it's not something that you are missing out on because you didn't get get it the first time around or whatever like that material harvest is after that a nine as the for completion so nine months it takes to make a baby nine and better and so this is a time in your life where you gotta get with it or get lost that may sound harsh that may sound like what you were just saying that it's not gonna miss me it's not it's for you but what you want to get it at 60 years old because right now when you in your 30s to 40s you still not grasping on what God is telling you to do or you want to get with it and take that leap and stop being afraid which one it's up to you you have the power remember power is out here you have the power to do that so you gotta choose wisely on what it is that this new beginning is trying to bring into your life which way you got a lot of options and yeah, that might be like, oh my goodness, um, I don't know because I have a lot of options. But when you choose to go towards the light, the many options will be made clear to you as well. What it is that's exactly for you. And you have to choose. You have to be the one to be on top of the world and the world 
um, and not the world on top of you. Then you are ahead of this thing. Not no one else. So open your hands, open your mind, open your heart, open everything about you so that everything about you can level up and change. It's here, it's, it's wanting to happen. Um, and today equals nine. When you add up the date, it deduces down to nine. Nine is for completion, nine is for order, nine is for uh, new beginnings to take place and the fact that new beginnings is out here Yeah, you gotta know it that these firm foundations is coming It's coming. Need I say more? You might be born in 94 <laughs> That rhymed um, 94 90 1990 That yeah it's definitely heavy Leo energy here. And now we have uh, 99. So, yeah. And I'll add this in the description box down below. What the numbers that you can look up to see what it is that you are needing in this time. But it's looking like a lot of spiritual strength is needed in order to make the, the the decision and the choice that it is that you are seeking and wanting that you got to trust yourself during this time you got to trust that what god is leading you to is what's for you and don't second guess it don't doubt it lay down doubt lay down fear lay down questioning this process because it's not gonna make sense nothing of the heart and what is for you gonna make sense we be trying to operate and, and work out of logic, but God wants us to just trust this process and allow the process to trust us. And in doing that, then that's when it's just going to flow. And you're going to get out of these um, barriers and restrictions and limitations because you are stepping outside the box and you are allowing flow in your life. And seven is also about completion. Seven is luck. So you are in a, a very abundant time in your life as well. You have to know it. You have to allow it. Renewal. Renewals are coming in. New beginnings are coming in. They are here for you. So stop being so guarded and restricted. Open yourself up to what it is that you truly want. You, you need to lay down guilt and self-sabotage. Stop allowing others to sabotage your life because that's a form of self-sabotage because you're not going to allow something to just hinder you and stop you. So lay it down. Give it to God. And allow for this spark to come through. So that you can rise higher. Transcendence and unity. It's about going higher within yourself. It's about being able to allow the process to go up. To move higher. I've been getting a lot of energy of 
someone's watching you you might be an inspiration to someone or a lot of people or this is your life path of people are going to see you you are meant to be in some sort of authoritative role where you are able to lead correctly and be able to have a following of people that know um that you legit that you real that you are genuine source from source um or it could be that someone's watching and inspecting everything that you do and you were allowing that energy to stop you um not for long or anything like that it's just like you be you get to a point where you fixated and focus on it like I just feel the energy of someone's watching and you let that stop you or something like that but you gotta keep going because people gonna watch you and have something to say whether you're doing good or bad so you have to be able to be confident in your power confident in yourself to be like oh yeah i know people watching uh, and i hope they getting a good show out of it because you ain't stopping nothing and I just seen that today too. Like, the best revenge is to let motherfuckers know that they ain't stopping nothing. They thought they had you down, like I said before. They thought that they had this type of energy and power over you, but you just walking into a time where you awaken into yourself. You are remembering yourself. And so you gotta get in comfortable positions to know. Um I matter. What I'm doing matters. Somebody need what I have. And my gifts are making room for me. You gotta know this. And you are remembering this. And this is what's allowing your life to come full circle. And you are waking up to who you are and not giving a damn about what anybody gotta say. And that's needed because we need you. Like I said before too, I am only one person that's able to pour into whatever aspect of a person I come across or whatever. I am only one person. And so when everybody is in their position and they doing their part and they got they, they shit together and everything like that, then that's when everybody can be like, you know, thriving and, and growing and flowing. But if we scared to take that leap, if we scared of other people's opinions, if we still worried about the wrong shit, how can we get to a point where we are you know going on the right tracks of our life <laughs> like you gotta have the courage to change you you gotta want to change even if you don't want to change don't you want freedom um in your own life don't you want something to be like yeah i did that and i'm proud of myself whether it be minor whether it be major you got to get to a point where you validate yourself and, and be well with it within yourself. Now, these opportunities are coming and here for you, but God is like, okay, child, look, how long am I going to spin the block before you finally get on the track of yes and not no or um taking the leap like when are you going to get on the track of it so it's time to listen to your intuition listen to your intuitive feelings your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine things that are happening around you you might be like what the hell is going on you're just waking up to you and and god is leading you to um flow with it and grow with it not be afraid okay that's it that's all um so yeah flow with it grow with it and allow this energy to be what it needs to be it's a beautiful time to be alive it is and the storm is brewing and it's coming forth and yes um in this on this note singing and dancing express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and 
movement. So definitely listen to high vibes. Um, songs with meaning that raise your frequency and vibration and this the breeze feels immaculately amazing that's how you know the storm is about to be something 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 okay so <laughs> oh it feels good but yeah i'm about to get on get on back home i'm glad that i was able to get myself up because it could have easily been another day where I was just like, you know what, I don't feel like doing it. I don't I don't feel like doing it. And I got myself up. I was just like, get up, Shigara. And so I did. So, yeah. Um, and the squirrels are out here just uh, running and going. And the breeze is coming in. So... Remember to always shield yourself and all that good stuff, okay? So, I don't know who that was for, but I hope you got a message out of it. I hope that you can reflect upon this. It's just flipped over or whatever. Reflect upon this and sit with it and know that God is on your side. And God needs you to go. God needs you to move. God needs you to rise to the occasion in your life. Mm, they out here barbecuing. Got a big whip of it. It smells so good. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. You ain't got to tell me twice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, look at the power. The power of God. It's beautiful. And that is so, so. Let me go ahead and get my butt back to the house. Um, until next time. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe to Shakara Danye. And